the last question for the night. Dr. Zakir Naich, uh, allow me to read to you about your comments about the people of the book only limited to the uh, Jews and Christians. This is a commentary by Prosh Hashim Kamali. I think he's quite an authority in Sharia. It's based on the words of the Quran. Those who restrict the category of Ali al Kitab to Jews sorry, and Christians. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What is the name you took? Which is the name of the famous person? You said because that. Just now, what uh, was the name of the commentary? Who wrote it? Prof. Hashim Kamali. Hashim Kamali, I haven't heard of him. First time I'm hearing. Yeah, please Google him. No, no, he's you said he's very famous. He's the chairman of uh, Institute of Advanced Islamic Study in Malaysia. Maybe famous in Malaysia. Yes, yeah. He's, Maybe he's, famous. Uh, he, may be, he may be a good scholar. I'm not saying he's bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll, pass you, of him. I'll pass you his book. You can read. But, but right now, just for the uh, benefit I haven't of heard the... of him. He may be a good person. He may be a good scholar. I'm not disagreeing with that. But I personally haven't heard of him. Yeah, yes, no. you can read the commentary. Okay. Okay. This is based on the Quran. He says that those who restrict the category of Ali al Kitab to the Jews and Christians quote in authority the Quran, chapter 6, verse 156, which declares that books were revealed to two groups before. But the context where this phrase occurs actually questions rather than endorses the spirit of such limitation. Let us briefly examine the context. The verse, chapter 6, verse 156, immediately follows two other verses one of which affirms the veracity of the Torah that contain guidance and light. The succeeding verse refers to the Quran itself as the blessed book, Kitabun Mubarakun, and an authoritative source. And then comes the verse 6, 156. Lest you should say, bracket thing, that books were sent down to two, bracket groups of people, bracket only, before us, and for our part, we remain unacquainted with a revealed book. The tone brother, of the discourse brother, here brother, is brother, expressive. Brother, all this doesn't make a difference. I'll give the reply again to you. All this doesn't make a difference to me. Even I'm a student of the Quran. Let me tell you one thing. I want to repeat the answer which you have not heard correctly. I told you by meaning LA Kitab means people of the book. It can also mean people of the revelation. In that context, even Muslims are LA Kitab. Allah has sent many books. Quran says in Surah Raj, chapter 13, verse number 38, the Kulli Ajlin Kitab. In every age, we have sent a book. That's the definition. But when Quran uses an idiom, Ahle Kitab, it only refers to Jews and Christians, no one else. If I agree with that person, I don't know what context he's talking about, then there will be big chaos. Among the Ahle Kitab, there are those who say this. And it says, Ahle Kitab believe in law and gospel, meaning Torah and the Injil. With these, there are many verses in the Quran. With this, it is 100% sure that whenever Quran refers to LA Kitab, it only refers to Jews and Christians as an idiom. Otherwise, there are many other people who are LA Kitab. But when the Quran refers to it, and I give you the example, when Quran says, Oh Prophet, tell your wife and the believing woman. You ask me, who's a Prophet? Adam is Prophet. Noah is Prophet. Abraham is Prophet. Musa is Prophet. Jesus is Prophet. But when Quran says Prophet, it specifically refers to no one but Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I gave you the answer. You didn't hear it. I hear you, but I hope this that is you the also... answer. I disagree because if I follow with that, there'll be contradiction in the Quran. I don't agree there's contradiction in the Quran. Quran says, Ahle Kitab believe in Torah and the Injil. Now you will say, Buddhists believe in Torah and Injil. They cannot. Dr. Zakir and I, I, think, I think we should learn how to agree to disagree. Not agree to disagree. Think, what you're yes. saying, if I agree with you, I'll I'm have not, to believe I'm not that. I'm asking you to agree with me. I'm just Brother, uh, I'm a sharing your view. I disagree with you. You shared the view. Imminent, of an imminent, uh, Bud, uh, imminent Muslim scholars. There are many eminent people who can make mistakes. And there are many good scholars who have made mistakes. I don't disagree he's not eminent. I'm not saying he's not eminent. Okay. Since, Where since did I say, say Abdullah Yusuf Ali? This Abdullah Yusuf Ali, which I quote. This Dr. Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Brother, brother, you want to keep on speaking? Have you come here to give a speech? This book which I refer, the translation, Abdullah Yusuf Ali. According to me, it's the best translation available. There are mistakes in this also. Just because it's best, it doesn't mean because human beings are bound to make mistakes. I'm a human being, I can also make a mistake. But the point to be noted is when we do research, if we find one mistake, I don't reject everything. Because he then claimed to be God. This translation is one of the best translations. Even this translation has got mistakes. So what we have to realize, that a human being cannot be perfect. So that person may be eminent, but I disagree with his interpretation. You and I disagree. So why are you coming and hopping again to I've given you reason why I disagree. What do you have to do? Okay, fine. This verse of the Quran interpret this way. You have to counter my argument. You're not countering, you're reading from the book.
Reading from the book is a waste of time for us and for everyone because I give you quotation from the Quran which says about Ali Kitab and refers to Jews and Christians only. It's this talking also, about Torah. This is also from the Quran and it states that actually you should have an open interpretation. And can I ask you a question, Dr. Zakir? Are you also a human? Of course I'm a human. So are you also bound to make mistakes? I can make, but to prove I made a mistake, you have to prove where my mistake is. That, that's why, <laughs> that, that is why I state to you from a commentary from an imminent Muslim scholar, but not from my own interpretation. But if that, but that about... eminent is not matching with the Quran. My interpretation, what I'm talking is based on the Quran. And majority of the scholars, majority Jumur scholars of Islam believe Ali Kitab means only Jews and Christians. There are so many Ibn Taymiyyah, I can name 20 or quoting one, which I have never heard of. Ibn Taymiyyah, you read Ibn Qasir, you read Tabari, all of them say Ali Kitab. What do you have to realize? I'm quoting Tabari, I'm quoting Ibn Qasir. All these top commentaries, all of them say that even Abdullah Yusuf Ali, even Abdul Majid Daryabadi, all of them say Ali Kitab means Jews and Christians. Now you get one Malaysian fan, you may respect him, I've got no objection to that. Therefore, when you see, you have to give evidence. That evidence doesn't hold good for me. That is the reason I say that I believe with the commentary given by eminent, not one, hundred scholars, hundred. So when one is against hundred, if it has proof, if it's worth, Considering, I consider. If it's not worth considering, I don't consider. If you want to believe in it, you're full right. No one can force you. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhirat dawan, alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin. Would you like to admit yourself to the school of Islam? Uh, Dr. Zakir Knight, uh, based on verse uh, 48, uh, Ma'idah, I think uh, Allah or God has made it so clear that it's, it is not His will. You know, He said, if, if, if I had so will, I'll make you a single people, but that's not His plan. So, in other words, uh, no, Allah no, no. knows best and no, that's all not knowing plan. does not that, want. That sorry. verse of the Quran, if He wanted, He could have made everyone believe, then where is the test? If the teacher says, I, if I want, I can pass everyone, then no one will study. So, Allah is telling, for Him to make everyone believe is very easy. But because this is the test, as I quoted the verse of Surah Mul, chapter 67, verse number 2, Allah di khalaq al mawata wal hayata. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. If He makes everyone believe, then where is the test? He's already created that creation, the angels.